What's up guys? This is Tim and in this video we're going to go over the easiest way to make your application SSL compliant and to install an SSL certificate. Now this is not going to be using the kind of legacy approach where you go to a domain registrar, you purchase a cert for a year or two years, you, have, you verify that the cert is on your server, they generate a token and you do the handshake and you don't have to do any of that stuff. And, and the reason I am excited about this is I've spent so much time installing SSL certificates. It's always a headache. It's always slow, it's never fun, and Google has come out with a way to support SSL on APIs, uh, websites, any sort of web application that's public facing, they've come up with a super easy way to install SSL certificates that I want to show you guys how to use. And so in this tutorial, we're going to be going through exactly how to set that up and how you may, after this tutorial, never have to install another SSL cert again. We can only hope. Anyways, guys, let's get started. Um, so uh, this instance here, this is a compute engine instance, hosts my website. So if I go to this IP address, it will return my website, although we are on HTTP. And so the goal of this video is to get this over to HTTPS and also hooked up with my domain. And it's pretty, pretty easy to do in, in GCP. So let's get started here. So you can't point um, you can't point a load balancer to a particular VM instance in GCP. You have to point to an instance group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to an instance group. But before I do that, let me just show you something real quick about this um, VM instance. I just want to make sure people don't get hung up on this. Um, so instances follow various templates, operating systems, protocols, etc. We want to make sure we're allowing traffic on both HTTP and HTTPS in order that um, the SSL cert is going to work for this. So um, let's just make sure we have that enabled. Let's go over to instance groups. I'm going to say create instance group and I'm going to do unmanaged. And we're going to do, we're just going to call this whimsical instance group. This is mostly a formality. You can have a single VM instance in an instance group, so um, it doesn't really change anything at the end of the day, but this is just how it has to be set up in GCP. Um, and then we'll just immediately add our instance. So. Whimsical website 2 is that VM instance I just showed you guys. I'm going to go ahead and create this. The idea here is for an instance group, as you're scaling up, you could just copy VM instances and add them into the group. And then the load balancer can you know, run an algorithm to distribute traffic amongst the, um, the various instances and it can run health checks and, and spin up new instances, auto scale, et cetera. It's pretty nifty, um, but that's, that's kind of beyond what we're trying to do here. Um, okay, so we have this instance group and in it, we have a single instance, which is again, the website that I just showed you guys. So we're good on the hosting front. Um, just, just if you guys were curious, like what's actually going on on this instance, I have Nginx installed. And Nginx has a couple HTML pages. Um, when you curl localhost or you curl um, uh, 127.0.0.1, you'll get um, this this website returned. And um, but but again, we're using the IP directly here, and now we want to um, we want to integrate the uh, the domain and, and the SSL cert. So let's do that. So I'm going to go over to Network Services. And what we want to do is we want to create a load balancer. Again, we're primarily using it in this scenario for the SSL cert um, support that it's going to provide us. But as you scale, you get all these additional capabilities um, with, uh, with caching and, and a bunch of other things. So we're going to do create load balancer. It's going to be an HTTPS load balancer. And this is an external facing load balancer. 
All right, let's call this whimsical load balancer. Now there's a bunch of different components to this um, because you're essentially, you're, you're, you're gonna make the connection from the domain DNS to the instance group to the VM. And so let's, it'll just walk you through it here. Let's start with the backend configuration. So backend services and backend buckets. What's the backend for us? It's that compute engine VM or the instance group, which is the level above it. So let's do backend services. And we actually have to create a backend service, but this is pretty easy. So let's call this whimsical backend. It is of type instance group. Okay, so for here, the back end is actually going to be HTTP. And basically what that means is um, the domain is going to make um, a, a connection with the front end of the load balancer. And that will all be supported with SSL. And then Google is going to do um, SSL termination after that. And internally, it will make tra it'll make requests uh, over HTTP um, because at that point we're already in a secure region. So we can leave that as is. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so these should all be correct. So we may have to create a health check. So I'm going to go create health check, and let's call this whimsical health check. What is this? This is just a way for the load balancer to ping the VM and make sure that it's still available. And it will do it at a specified interval. And you can make it like do anything. I'm just going to say make a request. Make an HTTP request to the to forward slash, which would be the home page. If you get a response, then consider um, consider everything up and ready to go. So we will do, I don't think we need to do that frequently. Um, okay, let's go ahead and save this. Um, and then we'll go create. All right, so we have our back end. Let's take a look at yeah, let's take a look at the front end now. So the front end is where we want HTTPS. So we're going to call this front end whimsical protocol. We want HTTPS. In order for Google to create a certificate, the, the front end IP address has to be, um, it can't be ephemeral. It has to be a static reserved IP. So we're going to say create IP. OK, so this is my favorite part, the SSL certificate. So you can upload a cert and do all that. Or you could just create a cert right here. So we're going to do create new cert. We're going to call this whimsical new cert. And we're going to do Google managed. And then we're going to throw our domain in here. So whimsical.ai. And they're going to take care of everything. So they're just spun up a cert, and they're going to manage it. And we don't have to worry about any of that. Um, I think that's it. So I'm going to go to Done. OK, we have our front end. Now let's go to Review and Finalize. So everything does look good to me. So let's go to Create. Okay, it looks like that's done loading. So we're going to click into our load balancer and we'll click into cloud DNS. So it will it will give us um, a zone here. 
uh, with the um, with the NS records, but we need to create an A record. So they already created this one here, but I don't think it's right. It needs to point to the front end IP address of the load balancer, which is this guy right here. So again, the A name points to the front end IP address. Okay. And okay, so that should be all we need to do here. And then the only other step is wherever you registered your domain, whether it be GoDaddy or Namecheap or something, um, there's a DNS section and you just supply three or four of these name servers and then it will point to Google because the request first goes to um, global the global DNS which will be maintained by your domain registrar and then they will forward it to your hosting provider which would be Google here and then it comes inbound to Google's DNS and then Google says okay the A name is the front end of the IP address the IP, the, 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 the load balancer, which is the front, the front end IP here, um, then proxies it back to the back end uh, instance group and then to the actual instance itself. So let's see if we can get this to work now that we have everything set up here. So Okay, so I had to flush my um, DNS again. Um, there's different ways to do it on Windows versus Mac. And then I opened an incognito window. The point is there is a little bit of propagation time here. So you can either wait it out or you can try to um, use incognito windows and flush your local DNS. Um, that did work for me. So, um, so yeah, now that we had the cloud DNS set up, the, the A name set up in here, um, and the domain was already pointing to these name servers, I could do new incognito window. And if I go to my domain, whimsical.ai, you can see we have perfect SSL support. And, um, and now it's running, on, uh, it's running on SSL here. And I just think this, this approach is way easier than having to like buy a cert and, or reinstall a cert. Um, if we find that we don't need this anymore, we can get rid of it and stop paying for it. So it's just m better payment model, pay per use, um, and just a lot, lot easier. And I can tell you, I won't be setting up uh, SSL certs manually anymore. All right. And that's all I have. So thank you for listening.